Hi and welcome to my maths class. Today we're going to discuss inverse functions. Now before we do an inverse function, you need to know how to draw a basic function. This is a function of a straight line graph and if we start, you'll see we do x-intercept which means y is equal to 0. If I make y equal to 0, I'm going to have 0 is equal to minus 2x plus 2. That would mean 2x is equal to 2 and x is equal to 1. Then we're going to do y-intercept. y-intercept means x is equal to 0. So I would have y is equal to minus 2 into 0 plus 2, which will give me y is equal to 2. Our coordinates for the 1 is going to be 1 and 0, and the coordinates for the 2 is going to be 0 and 2. If I'm going to plot, I'm going to have a drawing that looks like this. Now, if you were to do the vertical test, you can clearly see that this is a function, one point only. Can you see? And if we had to do the horizontal test, again, one point only. The fact that it has passed both the vertical and horizontal test says that the inverse would also be a function. How do we do the inverse? When we're doing the inverse, what we are saying is that x would become y and y would become x. So in this case, we've got that y is equal to minus 2x plus 2. We're going to change x and y. So when we say change, wherever x is, I'm going to put y, and wherever y is, I'm going to put x. So y, where y is, I'm now going to put an x. Where x is, I'm going to put a y. But you have learned that when we're doing graphs, we always say y is equal to. We don't say x is equal to, which means that you now have to change the subject of the formula. If I change the subject of the formula, I am going to have 2y is going to equal to minus x plus 2. I'm then going to divide by 2 because you want y is equal to. So I've got y is equal to minus x plus 2 all over 2. Now how do you show that this is an inverse? How do you show that, listen, I am now doing the inverse of f of x. The correct method is to write it with f minus 1x. Now this prime basically means inverse. It is telling you that I am doing the inverse of x. The emphasis, because of the way you are writing it, immediately the examiner would know, okay, they are doing the inverse. So we've got inverse is equal to minus x plus 2 all over 2. And we had the original f of x is equal to minus 2 plus 2 and the inverse is minus x plus 2 all over 2. Now let us draw the inverse graph. It's still a straight line. So we're going to do x intercept which means y is equal to 0. So I'm going to have 0 is equal to minus x plus 2 all over 2. If I times it by 2, it will simply cancel out. So I have minus x plus 2 is equal to 0. x is going to equal to 2. My coordinate is 2 and 0. Now we're going to do y-intercept. x is equal to 0. So I'm going to have y is equal to minus 0 plus 2 all over 2, which is equal to 1. My coordinate is going to be 0 and 1. Okay, now let us draw this. You had had x is 1 and y is 2. Now look at what you have. You have x is 2 and y is 1. So we have x is 2 and y is 1. And we are drawing the graph. If we look at the inverse, what you should notice is that x was 1 and now y became 1. Can you see x and y changed? Then y was 2 and now x became 2. 
so x and y changed more interesting is that we keep on saying x became y y became x if you draw the x is equal to y line you would see that this is a reflection of each other if I had to fold this paper this line would be exactly on this line and this one with the green would be exactly on this side so if you had to fold the paper then the blue would touch the blue and the green would touch the green so it reflects exactly on that line now what did we conclude from this a straight line is a function but more interesting it is a one-to-one -one. if it is a one-to-one -one, then we know its inverse is also a function the inverse is also a function but the inverse is also a straight line so what type of function it's a straight line when we drew it we had a straight line when we started and when we ended we still had a straight line so straight lines are functions that are one to one their inverses are also functions that are one to one in order to draw them we simply have to do x intercept and y intercept thank you for watching